Well, it's not surprising that she's pregnant so soon after the wedding because we thought that that would be the case. Um, at the time they announced their engagement, they had an interview and said they would like to start a family as soon as possible. But what is surprising is the timing of the announcement. Um, you know, they're about to, to undertake a big, big, uh, a big, big tour. And, um, you know, we would normally be told this sort of news after the tour. So um, it's increasing the pressure on the royal couple because the scrutiny which would have been there beforehand is going to be that much more intense now. Well, you know, it's intriguing that they announced it when they did announce it. We wonder perhaps if there might have been a genie about to come out of the bottle and so they, they told us before it broke in some other way. But, um, you know, we wouldn't um, really expect to, to hear about it quite so soon, um, perhaps even in the pregnancy, although we understand that Megan has had her 12-week scan and that uh, all is well. So, you know, it's deemed, I suppose, to be a, a, a good time and a safe time to tell us. Interracial. Well, I suppose it, it's a, a significant thing, particularly within the royal family. Um, it's also uh, an international uh, thing because this will be the first time that uh, uh, a child in the British line of succession will have American blood. So it's, um, you know, there's talk of this special relationship between the UK and, uh, and the US and, and this is uh, another way, dare I say, of, of cementing that further. So it's, it's quite a big deal on many levels. Well, you know, this will follow the same sort of pattern that we saw with um, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and their three children. So um, if all goes according to plan, Meghan will continue to undertake royal engagements until probably early next year. And at that point, they will say she's going on to maternity leave and she will disappear. And uh, the next we'll know is that she's going into hospital to have the baby. Assuming, of course, that she goes into hospital. They, they may decide to do their own thing. They may have a home birth. It will depend how she is and what they want to do. So the baby, when he or she is born, will be seventh in the line of succession. Um, well, will he have a title or will she have a title? Um, if it's a boy, uh, he will be the Earl of Dumbarton, which is Prince Harry's subsidiary title as Duke of Sussex. Um, if it's a girl, she will be Lady, dare I say, Diana Windsor, or, or whatever name they choose. So they won't be Royal Highnesses unless the Queen decides in the meantime that she wants these great-grandchildren to be Royal Highnesses. Um, if not, they will be um, Earl or, or Lady. Uh, and then later on, when Charles becomes King, they will automatically become a Prince or Princess. Well, the indication is that Harry will be a, an excellent father. You know, we understand he has a great relationship with his three uh, nephews and nieces, and he gets on very well with children. We see that when he interacts with them on public engagements. So the, the, inc uh, the understanding is that he will be um, a really good father. You know, there's no reason to think that he won't be. Is it that uh, the pregnancy's been announced five months after the wedding? Yeah. Well, you know, we think Harry's going to be an excellent father, so there's no reason to suspect that Meghan won't be an excellent mother. She gets on with children. She has um, her own godchildren, uh, who we saw at the wedding, and uh, she interacts very well with George, Charlotte and uh, Louis. So we think that when the time comes, she will be a, a perfect mother.